Good morning. Hi. How are you? Doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Got a Where's My Willy? That's what we got up there today. Uh, I see That's, that. Uh, yeah. No, no, it's a game. I can see Willy up there today. We got, we got there's a He's Willy. behind a book and Greg. <laughs> oh. Nice. Well, that's uh, probably what you think of when you think of your Willie. You think of Greg, I'm sure. Anyways, <clears throat> we uh, um, we uh, no, not really, but okay. Yeah, how's uh, how's every little thing? Everything all right? Everybody, uh, everything is good. Toki, Toki's okay. Everybody. Yep, he's got an appointment today with a doctor. I never even knew about okay. until this morning. Nobody informed you. Uh, no, not really. I thought he had everything told to me, and I had everything written down on the calendar, but I see. apparently not. It's a little later, so everything's good. Are you driving, or are you involved I in have some to. way? Okay, so nobody told you, and you are involved. Okay, that's a different matter. Uh -huh. Well, that's kind of rude, don't you think? Well, No. Uh, I just thought it was going to be a normal off day today. So oh, okay, okay, so it's a day off. Apparently not. Well, we've got a lot of books that we can go through here that came out this week. It looks like you did your <laughs> your homework. Um, the the first one that came up. Here we go. Da, 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 da. A very filthy game by Lauren Blakely, narrated by Joe Arden and Shane East. Now, I hear that Joe Arden has a good voice. I hear that he's very popular. Have you listened to any Joe Arden stuff? No. I I, I, I hear tell he's kind of a big deal. Uh, that one came out on the 2nd. I've heard that it, too, but I haven't listened to him. No, uh, I'm not going to do the research. You're going to have to do the... the uh... Next we had... Um, <clears throat> Writing Home Bundle by Amy Bellows, narrated by Lance West. Nice. That one came out on the second. Next we had, this one is going to be an audio clip, our first audio clip of the day. Or if you were going to say it like you were in Star Wars, or you go, uh, our first catch of the day. <laughs> okay. That, that's what you would do. Uh, anyways, here we go. Hello there. Nick J. Russo here to tell you about my new audio release, Conduit Crisis, by Louisa Masters. I thought pining for Daniel was an epic tragedy. But then I found out I'm a conduit, someone who can communicate with beings from the other world, and my unrequited love for one of my best friends seems less of a problem. So when a spirit is destroyed while trying to warn me of an approaching disaster, it makes sense for Daniel to step up and help me search for more information. Or it does, until my mom turns up 20 years after abandoning me, and Daniel turns into Mr. Protective. One thing leads to another, and somehow the whole town now thinks we're dating. As if all that isn't enough to deal with, Daniel's having a bisexual awakening, and he's looking to me, his gay friend, to guide him through it. I'd do anything for him, but the thought of being with him and then watching him move on to another guy? I don't know if my heart can take it. But I have to toughen up and get on with it, because whatever's happening in the other world is spilling over to here. And it's going to take everyone we've got to keep humanity safe. If we can. Conduit Crisis is book three in the Ghostly Guardian series. Enjoy. Wow, he really got into that yes, summary. Yes, he really did. <laughs> I enjoyed it. He did, did a good job. Um, and he, he, he sounds great. That's a good looking cover too, really. It is. I think um, he's fully wearing, nope, it's open. Sure. I mean, you know, the, the buttons are, they're overrated. <laughs> that one came out on the second. Uh, thanks for sending that in, Nikki. Next we had. Maximus, Lords of Otherworld, book one by Stella Rainbow, narrated by John York. That's a convenient name. That one came out on the second as well. And next we had... Man of Carnage, Road to Carnage Prequel, Virtuous Sinner Series, by Nicholas Bella, narrated by Matt Williams. And that one came out on the sixth. Next we had... A Date to Impressive, him, yeah. The Magi Accounts 
2.5 by Michelle Nataro. Yep. Narrated by CJ Storm. Sweet. That one came out on the 6th. Then we had... <laughs> Cat's Chance in Hell, Charm City Chronicles Book 2 by Megan Maslow. Narrated by Greg Boudreaux slash Tremblay. That's, you know that's got to be good, by the way. <clears throat> that's got to be fantastic. I've, well, I've listened to book one twice. Okay, so... Normally and don't listen to something twice was... if it if it isn't good. So the first one was good, is what you're saying? Yes, okay. I was waiting for this one to come out. So nice. Well, we know what did. you were listening to. Um, next, we had another audio clip, a late addition to the show, I might add. And here we get us back here. Not sure exactly what's going on with that one. Let I can't see hear if... you. Um... Da, 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 da. Um, you can't hear me? What the hell? Can you hear me now? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Take two. Yeah. Take, Take two. two, yeah. We will Sorry, see how everything works. It's all right. Shit proof. happens. Uh, let's see where we were here. Uh, no. No. We no. were, no. A date to impress him. No. Cat's chance. Hell no. That worked. A clap of thunder is where we were. So we were supposed to have an audio clip for this. We don't have an audio clip, so it is what it is. Um, but we can talk about it and at least say the details. Yeah, The Clap of Thunder, Arcane Hearts, Book 6 by Nazri Noor, narrated by Zachary Johnson. And that one came out on the 6th. Then we had... The M M <laughs> Animosity. Animosity Equation, Love, <clears throat> Love Equations by J.R. Gray, narrated by Alexander Amato. Nice. That one came out on the 7th. Then we had... Soul Eater, Monstrous, Book 1, by Lily Main, narrated by Michael Leslie. It's been a while since I've seen his name. That one came out on the yeah, 7th. Yeah, me too. Next we had... Back to Center, Mohegan New Hockey, Book 2, by Ryan Taylor and Joshua Harwood, narrated by Alexander Sindis. And that one came out on the 7th. Then we had... Mail Order Dragon by Kaleidoscope Press, narrated by say, J.C. Nine. Nine. Uh, nine. That's nine. It came out on the seventh, and that's you can really order those in the mail, huh? And uh, next <laughs> we had, I guess, uh, the Ghost of Crushes Past by Isla Olson, narrated by Nick J. Russo. Nice. And that one came out on the seventh. Then we had. The Vampire and the P.I., The Vampire and, book one, by J.P. Bowie, narrated by Duncan Prescott. That one came out on the 7th, and finally we had... Artifacts. Uh, intrinsic Values, by Bailey Bradford, narrated by Tony DeSoto. And that one came out on the 7th. Now what we've all been waiting for, what you listened to this week, and I can see a couple familiar ones here. First we had... Yeah, I listened to Sparrow. Um, I had read this, like, last year. Well, but, yeah. And I gave it five bullets. It was book two in the Rebel Sky series. And it follows Sparrow and... A rodeo cowboy named Luke. Uh, it was the enemies to lovers. There was a bit of shibari. Um, and Kelly did an amazing job, and so did Declan. He did a wonderful job bringing these two to life, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I remember hearing the sample for it, and his accent was like dead freaking on. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
Then we're moving on to... This was the uh, book one. Um, I gave this one five bullets, and it was a re-listen. I had first listened to this one in September of 2021. And because book two was coming out, I wanted to get reacquainted with the characters before listening to the other audio. I loved everything about this book. I laughed, and I cried. I got hot and bothered. <laughs> and I loved the play on words from the raven named Poe living in Baltimore. Uh, to the special clock in Tommy's shop. And Greg did an amazing job with this one. And even did a great creepy voice for the basilisk shifter. Nice. Of course. Greg is absolutely wonderful. Now we're talking about Greg Boudreaux here, not Greg Tremblay. Two different... No, they're not two different people. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's fantastic. Finally, we had... <laughs> this one was also a re-listen. Um, and this was a bullet breaker. hey -o. I realized I hadn't reviewed this on the show, so I figured, why not? I love this from beginning to end. Love the way they got the two characters, Ronan and Jamie, how they got together. <laughs> there was a little bit of BDSM. A little bit. Actually, not, not a little bit, a whole hell of a lot. Um, and Kale did a great job with this one. Amazing. Uh, he did the British accent for one of the characters, and he growled, um, and that was just, that caught me off guard second time, because I didn't realize it. It'd been a while. Wow. Yeah, because the first time I heard this one was in May of 2020. I, I think, I'm I, just my observation here, and I've, I've, I've listened to you review a lot of books, and I, I, I hang out with you a lot during the day in Discord, and I kind of know what you like. Shouldn't there be also on top of a bullet breaker rating system also like a growl rating that we put in like you know, this like you know I should like start a, that yeah yeah it should be like <laughs> this this one's a five growls gals <laughs> something, something something of that effect uh, yeah anyway, something it's just else my I need observation to start doing now <laughs> yeah um, anyways um, I'm I'm glad you enjoyed but, it, of course Kale oh, yeah, oh sorry um, I didn't mean to interrupt you please go ahead. <laughs> Um, this was actually the first audio book back in 2020 that I heard Kale do. And although it took me a while, a little bit longer to get into his voice, I did finally start listening to him on a rotating basis. So, so this is yeah, the book. Like, this is the book I lost you on. Okay, because yeah, pretty much. Was, yeah, when you. When you went off on Kale, it was like, you know, once they go off on Kale, they never come back or something like, there's some sort of saying like that. I don't, it rhymes. Uh, anyways. Well, I mean, like I said, it took me a while to get into some of the other books he did. And because sometimes if I, it all depends on the book mm -hmm. or the fact on how he did the book. Because sometimes he, you will hear the breaths he takes and... That is basically all I can focus on, uh -huh. and it Boy. takes me completely out of the story. So, <clears throat> well, there, there's a way. There's an artful way to do breaths. Um, I use breaths a lot myself, and I, I really think about it very consciously, like my, my breathing pattern to evoke emotion. Now, there's a way to do that. Is that what you're saying, or are you saying they're just they're a little too loud for you? They were a little loud. Okay. All right. Now I understand. Well, aside from that, you are still addicted to kale, which is something I never thought I would say about you, by the way. Yeah, and I'm not sure why I couldn't, I can't eat kale. Not the person, no. The uh... <laughs> I knew, I knew, I, I think everybody knew, everybody knew what you were talking about. It's okay. Um, I, I don't know why I just don't want to eat it 
<laughs> right. I, I understand. There is a mental block in your head that says, don't eat that. It, 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 I've, I've heard it once described as bad. I get it. It Anyways, just looks man, creepy. You, you, uh, you, you did a fantastic job of putting the show together. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you to Nikki. And I'm uh, sorry uh, that, that Zachary Johnson clip didn't work. I don't know exactly why, but it apparently broke the show. So have fun, y'all. <laughs> we will yeah. uh, see you next week. Good Bye. luck. Peace out.